All right, Paul Manafort's attorney, Kevin Downing, yesterday began his response to his client's indictment this way. Well, I think you all saw it today that President Donald Trump was correct. There is no evidence that Mr. Manafort or the Trump campaign colluded with the Russian government. Oh, okay. There you go. <laughs> Show over. Oh, Alex wants me to continue. Nearly 24 hours of after nearly 24 hours of silence on Twitter, President Trump agrees. The president tweeted a short time ago, the fake news is working overtime. As Paul Manafort's lawyer said, there was no conclusion. And events mentioned took place long before he came to the campaign. Few people knew the young low-level volunteer named George, who has already proven to be a liar. Check the Dems. And I hope people will start to focus on our massive tax cuts for business, jobs, and the middle class, in addition to Democrat corruption. Joining us now from Washington, NBC News Justice Correspondent Pete Williams. Pete, where do you think the investigation goes from here? And what could foreign policy advisor George Papadopoulos offer to our to investigators? Well, number one, anyone who thinks they know where Bob Mueller's investigation is going, you should ask them where were they uh, in predicting the uh, charges and the guilty plea with George Papadopoulos. Uh, nobody saw that coming. I mean, clearly, what Mueller is trying to do here, I think, yesterday was to make a point by putting these two documents out together. Now, it's obvious why the grand jury indictment against Manafort and Gates came out yesterday, because it was handed up by the grand jury on Friday under seal, and they were in court on Monday. But the guilty plea that George Papadopoulos entered was actually done in a secret court proceeding on October 5th. So why put it out yesterday? Uh, and I think one reason why may have been uh, to try to make a point here. George Papadopoulos cooperated with investigators and is apparently going to get a pretty good deal. He's charged with lying twice <laughs> to the FBI. But in the sentencing memorandum that accompanied the guilty plea, the government says the sentence ought to be somewhere between zero and six months. And several former prosecutors that I talked to about that yesterday said that is code for the government thinks he should just get probation. We know he's been cooperating for two reasons. One is that's a signal that the government is looking for a lenient sentence. But secondly, the court documents say that after he was arrested on July 27th, arriving at Dulles Airport on an overseas flight, uh, he has talked to Mueller's investigators repeatedly and has been answering their questions. So he knows he's cooperating, and clearly that's what Mr. Mueller is trying to do here, is to try to work his way through the campaign staff, try to go higher and higher, and see what else he can learn. I do think it's important to point out that even though uh, Mr. Papadopoulos kept saying that he, uh, he kept being told, rather, by these two Russian contacts that he had that they had dirt on the Hillary Clinton campaign, including emails, there was nothing in the court documents yesterday indicating that he told people in the campaign about that. So that's one question. Uh, that they're, I'm sure, going to follow up on. Did he actually tell anybody that, and what did they do about it? All right, NBC's Pete Williams, thank you very you much. Bet. Thanks for checking out MSNBC on YouTube, and make sure you subscribe to stay up to date on the day's biggest stories, and you can click on any of the videos around us to watch more for Morning Joe and MSNBC. Thanks so much for watching.